Hi, good day. This is uh, Dr. Ali Sayed uh, from Avalon and Salon Commodities. Uh, uh, thank you for um, asking questions regarding our newest collection as I am JBCO uh, uh, line in this collection. Uh, it's based on the nanotechnology and during the uh, presentations, and, uh, we some folks had asked, what is the use of uh, nanotechnology or what is nanotechnology and why, uh, what is this use in the finished products? So therefore I thought I should give you a, a scientific explanation on what is nanotechnology. Uh, another name for nanotechnology is also submicron technology. Uh, nanotechnology has been around a uh, little uh, detail uh, of a background. Um, for me, I have been in this uh, product development space for uh, textured ethnic hair for the last 40, maybe five, 46 years. Uh, I have um, developed renowned brands uh, such as a Johnson Products, uh, uh, AfroSheen, UltraSheen, uh, and then uh, uh, at uh, SoftSheen, uh, such as uh, uh, Optimum. And then in uh, 1984, uh, I started, uh, founded Avalon Industries, where we did salon brands like Affirm and Caracare, which are uh, mainstay uh, on an international level. And then in uh, about 10 some years ago, when the textured hair, uh, natural hair became uh, a, a segment uh, where people were interested to use, uh, keep their hair um, uh, untreated from chemicals, we introduced As I Am uh, brand, uh, which is our classic line. And then of course, with time, we have been adding other collections. So for this JBCO collection, uh, uh, we have um, nano uh, particles in, in, uh, embedded in them. Uh, what is nano? Nano is actually, if you look at this slide here, uh, nano is one billionth of a meter. Okay, and, that, and it exhibits, uh, the particle size is so small, that it exhibits unique properties. So in hair and skin care products, usually nanoparticles are used at around 200 nanometers. Uh, these nanoparticles are very fine, or we call them ultra fine, and are able to penetrate into the hair cortex and maybe also scalp, stratum corneum. And by doing so, they are imparting really uh, amazing properties to uh, the hair and scalp. So. Uh, we have also done research, especially this is the presentation I made to Society of Cosmetic Chemists in New York in uh, 2017, where we um, uh, compared uh, the uh, properties of uh, ethnic hair uh, or uh, uh, type 4 hair versus uh, Caucasian hair. Uh, type 4, type 3, type 4 hair uh, has less moisture, significantly less moisture, like about 30% less. Uh, than the Caucasian hair. Similarly, it is uh, very difficult to comb, maybe 32 times more difficult to comb, and same way as tensile strength is significantly uh, less uh, versus the, uh, it's almost like it breaks much easier. Uh, similarly, elasticity uh, of, the, of, the, uh, of the type four hair is significantly less. So when we saw all these issues, uh, we thought, okay, let's develop products where uh, type three and type four here starts to enjoy the same benefits as the um, uh, non-textured hair. So therefore, most of our research has been then geared uh, on to uh, the uh, nanoparticles. So uh, just to explain um, in, in the laboratory setup, what is a nanoparticle? For example, here in this beaker, this is a mixture of uh, JBCO and water. So you can see the layer of JBC is sitting on the uh, surface, uh, not mixed with water at all. So that's usually the problem. Then we added some emulsifiers. Emulsifiers are nothing but links or bridges between oil and water. And even those emulsifiers have not been able to really do a great job of a uniform emulsion. Uh, you can see most of this JBCO uh, is sitting here uh, and the water is sitting in the bottom. So then comes the engineering part of uh, 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 the uh, making a nano uh, particles out of that. So we took uh, same uh, amounts of JBCO like here and water and the emulsifiers 
and then we engineer them through chemical energy and mechanical energy into this emulsion, which is now uh, nano emulsion. Okay, so I will show you in a minute their particle sizes. So this is almost like nice uh, milky uh, 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 the dispersion of uh, uh, JBCO in water. So how do we know uh, they are nano? There's one simple test usually is you look at the particle size, the oil droplets in water. If you look at uh, uh, this uh, slide C, the particle size of this slide, this material is very high. Uh, they're separated and their particle size is anywhere at about 127 na uh, microns. Mi microns are uh, a meter divided into, divided by um, one million times. So it's a pretty coarse, um, uh, dispersion. Then we added emulsifiers in the D. Uh, D was this here uh, in the beaker. So th in this sample, uh, even here, the particle size is very high. It's about 102 microns, uh, which is very high. Normally a good cream or emulsion uh, should be around 25 or 30 microns. So still, there, this, this is a pretty uh, bad uh, emulsion or mixture of that. So third phase, where we use that chemical energy and uh, mechanical energy uh, and converted that mixture into, uh, when we converted that mixture into a nano phase, uh, the particle side, you could look at it. Wow, so it dropped down to 0.3 microns. This, is, this particle size is about uh, 400 times smaller than any of those previous slides indicating. So when the particle size goes into uh, uh, micro, uh, in, into nanos, like this is 307 uh, nanos versus uh, 102 uh, microns. Micron is, as I mentioned, one millionth of a meter and, and the uh, nanometer is one billionth uh, B, uh, a billionth with B, uh, one billionth of a meter. So these particle size, you can see even the dispersion uh, curves here. Uh, very nice and narrow curve versus uh, if you look at C and D, uh, they are large uh, dispersions and not narrow and way to the right. They are very large particles versus uh, a nano emulsion, which is a small n emulsion at about uh, 300 nanos. So then we took this emulsion and experimented with it in different products. For example, first product of interest was, um, the idea was that people are using, are spraying water when they are styling their hair. Why not give them a nano water, nano JBCO water, uh, where they will use that instead of water. After cleansing the hair, you simply spray this water uh, which has all the benefits in it, uh, the, the nano JBCO in it, uh, ceramides in it, ceramides are known to uh, strengthen the hair fibers. And then we also have you know, vitamin uh, E and vitamin C. Vitamin E is extremely good for the hair and the skin as well. So all that mixture was put together, which was our nano emulsion here, okay? So this nano emulsion, we took that, I mean, in, in, in water, in this case, this is, uh, the JBCO water, you simply add this in, okay, and you mix it, it just goes right in. Now you could see this uh, JBCO, nano JBCO water is just gone right in, and it's a white like, looking nice water solution. I mean, water dispersion, uh, JBCO and ceramides in water. This is what you spray on the hair uh, all the time. And uh, you know, the interestingly, this JBCO water does wonders uh, for the hair. For example, it adds moisture, it strengthens hair fibers, it decreases the uh, hair breakage. All of those good things are done with this. And some of you may not realize, since I'm a scientist and I have developed this product, I take this product usually in every, every morning and every evening, and I apply it to my skin as well, because it has moisture in it, it has ceramides in it. it. It just strengthens my skin, makes my skin elastic as well. 
So, and the, the, this is a wonderful product which has multiple uses, but especially very good for, uh, for hair for, as a foundation. Right after cleansing, spray this on, then you apply your leave-in, and then you go on to process the hair. If the hair is drying out, spray this rather than water and apply your styling products. And during styling products, if the hair is uh, slowing down, I mean, uh, drying down, again, spray this on. And then, of course, uh, when, when you finish your style and it's dried out, uh, next day, the day after, if you want to refresh your curls, then you could uh, spray a little bit of this on the, uh, for refreshing as well. So this is one of the unique products. Then all of these studies were on this. The claims we are making, everything is tested with the state-of-the-art laboratories. In our research center, we have 11 different labs, including dermatology lab, fiber physics lab, product development labs, and that's how uh, this product was then formulated. And even the amount we add in, for example, here we add a small amount for the JBC of water. But here's the shampoo base we have uh, for, collect, for the collection for JBC of shampoo. And shampoo actually it requires a lot more uh, JBCO, um, nano JBCO uh, and ceramides to be effective. So for example, I would add this in, okay? Like you see this, then simply stir it and this becomes your JBCO water, okay? This shampoo, the JBCO shampoo. This shampoo again, will uh, detangle the hair, uh, add the motion in it, strengthen the hair, uh, add um, uh, and have, will have anti-breakage um, properties. But in, in, if I compare it, if I would have added um, just JBCO oil in this, okay, uh, in this shampoo, it will not suds, it will not foam, it will not go in, it will start to separate out. So you could see this is nice, um, dispersion of the shampoo, which is going to uh, be able to cleanse the hair fibers uh, uh, very well. And the scalp, any buildup on the scalp, that, can, that will be removed by using this uh, uh, material. So this is, in nutshell, uh, is the benefit of using this nanotechnology. It has about taken 15 years for me to, perf to make the, the technology perfect. My first training was done in Germany. Uh, about 15 years ago. Then we continued to work in a laboratory school scale, and then we brought all that knowledge back onto the plant scale, commercialization stage. So as I am, JBCO collection is the first collection in our history, and actually in the industry. No one else has the nanoparticles in their products, especially in the ethnic space for textured hair. So you could see we have given you something groundbreaking and we are also seeing very good reception in the marketplace. Uh, uh, we have been there in the market for less than a, a year, but the reception is good. Especially this JBC of water is jumping off the shelf. Okay. Um, so I will be open to any questions, whosoever watches this, uh, please uh, you can write to us, uh, email us, phone us, whatever questions you have about uh, the nanotechnology in hair care. We would love to be uh, 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 responsive to your uh, any kind of questions. Thank you again, uh, uh, giving us chance to explain what is nanotechnology in uh, JBCO collection.